You watch which one you like better, Raw or SmackDown? Yeah. Rick Flair's visit to the Palmetto Health Richland Children's Cancer and Blood Disorder Clinic wasn't the sort of strutting spectacle one is accustomed to seeing from the self-styled, self-promoting, self-proclaimed nature boy. <laughs> 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 It wasn't about Flair at all. Flair's visit was to brighten the day of patients, particularly that of Deshaun Cherries, a 10-year-old battling leukemia. Everybody make sure you got your wallets. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dirtiest player. In nope. <laughs> Flair surprised the youngster, known for spouting quips with the speed of a veteran wrestler like Flair. For a time, if only for the first few minutes of the visit, Cherry was speechless. Flair was the first wrestler, Cherry, who will be at the WWE SmackDown show tonight at the Colonial Center, had met. Flair visited several other patients at the hospital, spreading jovial cheer. He did become gruff when asked about the penetration of steroids in wrestling and the spotlight the death of Chris Benoit has cast. We don't, we don't know what it is. This is out of line. In a later statement, Flair said the media sensationalized the story. Yesterday's sensational story belonged to Cherry, who had met one of his heroes. It's very real. See all the scars up here and here on my nose and my lip. And I don't see many scars. Bro. Yeah, well, that's what, that, <laughs> you don't see all that right there where it's pink in that? No. Yeah, I bet. It's all real. I wish I could tell you it wasn't. All real. The celebration called for dancing, and that was what several including yours truly, did by boogieing to the electric slide. It was a sight that might make one say, Woo! Otis R. Taylor Jr. for the state.com. Holla back. Oh,